welcome everybody on this very special Sunday, the day of Pentecost. We'll sing as we witness the arrival of the Holy Spirit into our midst. Then, after welcoming all who've been able to join us in worship, we'll pause a moment to pass along the peace of the Lord. Peggy and Paul have prepared some songs for us, so please feel free to sing along with as much spirit as you do when you sing along with Alexa or with your car radio. We'll also have an offertory anthem sung by the Young Voices of the Philippines. Our scripture readings will recall how the disciples were able to understand and respond to people from many cultures. And then we'll be able to do just that as we recite Psalm 104. Barb Marshall has prepared an inspiring sermon to share with us today. Our prayers have been selected by one of our liturgical planning teams for the Pentecost season. So now, let us begin our Sunday worship. At this time, anyone who has a candle at hand, please light your candle as we prepare for the arrival of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful and, and kindle, kindle in us, us the, the fire, fire of, of your, your love. love. Send forth your Spirit, and we shall be created anew. And, and through, through us, you will renew, renew the face, face of, of the earth. earth. Thank you for joining our Sunday morning worship service. Let us pray together the welcoming prayer. Holy and gracious God, we give you thanks for your unceasing presence in our lives and for your open arms embracing us in your love. We pray that as we welcome all who worship today, that we may recognize in each other the individual gifts your Holy Spirit has given to enrich the lives we touch. May all people see your love reflected in our faces as we serve in the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And hearts. God is spirit, and those who worship must do so in spirit and truth. Alleluia, Alleluia.
A reading from the book of Acts. When the day of Pentecost had come, the disciples were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The psalm for today is Psalm 104. The refrain, send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth, will be repeated at various times during the psalm. Sometimes the refrain, send forth your spirit, O Lord, will be spoken by someone in a language of their heritage. Then, knowing what they had said, we will all respond in English and renew the face of the earth. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and, and renew, renew the, the face, face of, of the earth. earth. O Lord, how manifold are your works, in, in wisdom, wisdom you have made, made them all. all. The, the earth, earth is full, full of your creatures. creatures. Yonder is the great and wide sea with its living things, too many to number, creatures both great and small. Try to speak to a Dios. And, and renew, renew the, the face, face of, of the earth. earth. There moved the ship, and there is that Levison, which, which you, you have, have made, made for the sport, sport of it. it. All of them look to you, to give, give them, them their, their food in due season. Envoyez nous votre esprit au mon Dieu. And, and renew, renew the, the face, face of the earth. earth. You give it to them, they gather it. You, you open, open your, your hand, hand, and they, they are, are filled, filled with, with good, good things. things. You hide your face, and they are terrified. You take, you take away, away their, their breath, breath, and they, they die, die and return, and return to, to their, their dust. dust. Gib uns deinen heiligen Geist, O oh Herr. And renew, and renew the, the face, face of the earth. earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the, the Lord, Lord rejoice, rejoice in all his works. works. He looks at the earth and it trembles. He touches, he touches the, the mountains, mountains and, and they smoke. smoke. And, and renew, renew the face of the earth. earth. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will, I will praise, praise my God, God while I have my being. being. May these words of mine please him. I will, I will rejoice, rejoice in, in the Lord. Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and, and renew, renew the, the face, face of, of the earth. earth. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the Gospel according to John. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive any sins, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks Thanks be to be to God. In the name of God the Creator, God the Redeemer, and God the Sustainer. In today's Gospel reading, we heard about John's depiction of Pentecost that happens much earlier than it does in Luke's chronology. It is all part of the Easter drama. In John's Gospel, it is as if the first resurrection act of Jesus was to surround the disciples with love and give them the resource of the Holy Spirit. Jesus breathed on the disciples and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Thus the disciples were enabled to be agents in the world, a priority. With the arrival of the Holy Spirit, the disciples were transformed from nervous wrecks to agents who brought forgiveness and hope to a hurting world. For the past three months, COVID-19 has caused many of us to be scared and extremely nervous. We may find it helpful to be celebrating Pentecost this morning. Pentecost is the season associated with the work of the Holy Spirit in the life of the church. Jesus appeared to his shattered, exhausted, and scared disciples and breathed new life into them. Twice, the disciples were greeted with the traditional Jewish greeting, peace be with you. Those words are meant for us also. Peace be with you are reassuring words that we frequently use in worship services. Sharing the words of peace with one another enables us to extend forgiveness and love towards others. Passing the peace is a tradition rooted in scripture that identifies us as peacemakers. We use our heads, hands, and our tongue to show the way of peace. The gesture is simple, but the meaning is profound. When we extend our words of peace to one another, we identify with Jesus who extended his life to the point of death to make peace with humanity. Currently, the people in today's world are at odds as how we should handle the COVID-19 crisis. Some respect and follow the guidelines of the medical professionals and the leaders of the Center for Disease Control who work hard to keep us safe. Others choose to protest and refuse to follow guidelines. Fear of job loss and diminishing income is creating fear. Knowing many are seriously ill and even dying from COVID-19 also raises fear. Just like Jesus the disciples, many of us are nervous wrecks, each of, each of us reacting in a variety of ways. In the Pentecost event, the faith and wonders the disciples received came together when Jesus appeared to them. His words, peace be with you, broke down the barrier of language to reveal God's peace. God's Pentecost spirit enables us to break down the adult barriers of age, culture, nationality, race, gender, and creed. The Holy Spirit is present to help us realize God's vision of an earth that is to serve as home to one human family, united in peace, respect, and justice. May it be so. I recently read about a family 
who stopped at a local restaurant for lunch. This happened prior to COVID-19. As the waiter set crispy fries and thick burgers on the table, the dad glanced up and asked his name. And then he said, we pray as a family before we eat. Is there something we can pray for you today? The waiter looked at the family with a mixture of surprise and anxiety. A short silence followed before he told the family he was sleeping on his friend's couch each night. His car had quit and he was broke. The dad quietly asked God to provide for Alan the waiter and to show him his love. I wouldn't be surprised if Alan also received a generous tip when dad paid the bill. Dad's prayer was similar to what happens when the Holy Spirit takes up our cause and connects us with God. In our moments of greatest need, when we realize we're no match to handle life on our own, when we don't know what to say to God, the Holy Spirit intercedes for us, his children. What the Spirit does is a mystery, but we can be assured it fits with God's will for our lives and inspires us to help others. When we live by the Spirit, we'll find it easier to avoid unnecessary conflict on non-essential matters. Our shared sense of purpose can be greater than our differences. And with God's help, each of us can grow in grace and unity as we keep our hearts in tune with Him. When we pray for God's guidance, provision and protection in our lives as well as someone else's life, we need to let that act of kindness remind us that our spiritual needs are being lifted to God who knows our names and cares about our problems. Come, Holy Spirit. May peace be with you. Amen. Let us affirm our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and also, also with, with you. you. Let us pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And, and we, we shall, shall never, never hope in vain. The Colic for the Day of Pentecost. Let us pray together. O oh God, God, on this day, day taught the hearts, hearts of your faithful people by sending to them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and to rejoice in the Spirit's holy comfort evermore. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. 
Amen. Catholic for grace. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safely to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together the prayer of the fulfillment of our mission. Help, Help us, us to, to be a total, total ministry, ministry congregation who brings Christ to the world by encouraging individuals to discover and use their spiritual gifts in the church and in the community. Amen. We give thanks for the ministry of our vestry members and ministry support team. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. And, and praise, praise your name forever and ever. And ever. We pray for the people of Trinity Church of Monroe, St. Philip the Apostle and Santo, Santo Domenico, the Mongo Dominican Republic, and the Angelican Church of Mel Melanesia. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that, that all, all may be one. one. We pray for all the ministers of St. Patrick's, especially Cindy Mullins and Kelly, Juan, Sophie, Hector, and Joaquin Nazar. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all lay and ordained ministers in your church, for presiding Bishop Michael Curie, Bishop Bonnie Perry, and all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for President Donald Trump, Governor Gretchen Whitmore, and all local civil leaders. Guide all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that, that there, there may, may be justice and peace on the earth. earth. We pray for the Ministry of the Episcopal Relief and Development and Healing Haven Autism Services. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our, our works may find favor in your sight. We lift to you those needs and concerns of this congregation. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that, that they, they may be delivered from, from their distress. distress. Give to departed eternal rest, let the light perpetual, perpetual shine, shine upon, upon them. them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, in your mercy, accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. When the session ends, those of us who are already connected by Zoom can participate in a virtual coffee hour by staying online. Those who wish can get ourselves a beverage or a snack and return to our devices for a bit of friendly conversation. On Wednesdays at 6.30, we can use the link we received by email to have dinner, dessert, or sip of beverage and catch up on the week's events. Then at 7.15, we'll have a brief presentation and discussion about a topic. I believe that the vestry would agree with me. We should contact and support each other throughout the week. If you have five minutes of time, pick up your list of St. Patrick's members and just give them a call. Just say hi. And I think that that will do a lot to help our parish and especially to help our parish members who may not be able to be out in the world. The refrigerator page and prayer lists are being emailed and mailed along with a link to a recording of this Zoom worship service. The prayer lists and worship link are also on the online worship page at stpatsmh.org. Also, I wanted to let everybody know that Madison Heights has a food pantry that is open to anyone uh, in the community. And also the school districts are distributing food, breakfast and lunch to anybody who is from the age of three 
to the age of 26 if they are compromised. And you can pick those up at the schools. If anybody would like information on those, please let me know and I would be happy to share it with you. Father's Day is Sunday, June 21st, and we're planning on creating a special offertory anthem video for that day. To assist us, please send a photo of your father, you with your father, you being a father, or anyone that you consider a father via text message or email to Paul LeClaire by June 14th. Thank you for your support of the Ministries of St. Patrick's. Pledges and offerings can be mailed to Greg Marshall, or you can make a donation on stpatsmh.org. If you need Greg's address, please contact a member of the vestry and we would be happy to give it to you. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God.
Let us pray together. Almighty, Almighty God, God, Father, Father of, all of all mercies, mercies we, we, your, your unworthy servants, servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. May the grace of God the Father Almighty and the love of the Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit bless and keep you now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May God who by the Holy Spirit caused those many tongues to proclaim Jesus as Lord, strengthen your faith, and send you out to bear witness to him in word and deed. Amen. Amen.